I'd like to call upon Jenny's higher self, please. Yes, we're here. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Are we able to do a body scan for Jenny's body and find out what's happening to her today? Yes, we can do that. Fantastic. How is it seeming to you? Yeah, she's not doing too badly. She still had a bit of pressure in her head, but it's coming from her neck. During the healing session the other day and this healing and sound session, we came in and helped clear some of that from her neck. So it's much better than it was. So we'll work on that again and try and clear that a bit more for her and to release that pressure. Also, she's been feeling a bit tired, a bit exhausted, and we've asked her to drink a lot more water, which she has been doing. So she did feel a lot better yesterday. Other than that, she's fa fairly good. Great. Are you able to give me insight into what was happening with her neck? Her neck her neck is not fully aligned. And so when she carries things and does things, she puts more pressure on one side than the other and it tends to go out of balance. It's an issue that she's dealt with for a while. Um, we'll try and work on that a bit more for her and try and help realign her neck. The healing we did the other day has helped a great deal during the um, session and the sound session we came in to help her and it's definitely made a big difference. So we'll, we'll just keep working on that during this, this session and see if we can improve that for her. Okay. Um, and so are you able to completely help her? So after the session, it will be the pressure of her head and her neck will be completely uh, gone from her consciousness? Yes. We will be doing that throughout this session. We'll be doing some more work on her neck and helping her with that. Thank you, I really appreciate that for her. And in terms of uh, feeling exhausted and tired, um, she also mentioned that uh, to me. So can you give us clarification of why does she feel like that now? Well, she's on holidays at the moment and the destination she's at, there are a lot more people than in her hometown. She needed to come here for a reason to help other light workers with the density here. The density is extremely thick in this area with a number of people here. Luckily, she's close to the beach, so she's been able to go and ground and get in the water and ground herself in the sand. And she's been able to connect with the water, the sand, the rocks, and the wind. And she's been able to release a lot of that density that she's absorbed. And she's doing much better at that now. But when she first came, she found it extremely difficult. She was bombarded with this terrible denseness and it was making her extremely tired. But now towards the end of her holiday, she's starting to feel a lot better. So she will, she has done a good job here. She's had to absorb a lot of low vibrations and density and 
the area now is definitely feeling much better and it's much lighter. Is there anything else we can do for the area to help its density to be more high vibrational? Yes, we will send light and healing to that area. There are high rise apartments. There are a lot of people here. So there's a lot of low vibration individuals, just a lot of density, density collecting. And she felt it the moment she came here. So we will send light and healing to the area and help Jenny to balance that out more and to help the people here who are also feeling the denseness in the area and are finding it difficult. What is causing the denseness of that area? The people are feeling the low vibration due to the government rules and regulations, the closed borders have caused a lot of chaos in the area. A lot of people have had trouble getting to work, getting home from work. They've had many delays, very many disruptions to their life. It's causing sadness for them as well. Many of them are having to close businesses as in other areas as well. And they're unsure of what's, what's going to happen to them in the future. So they're not sure how to go ahead with their lives. And it's just creating a low vibration in the area. From your perspective and from the collectives that are helping support these people in this area, uh, what is the lessons and experiences that they're learning while being so dense with these experiences? The emotions these people are going through. They need to experience these emotions. It's very important for them to understand and learn and release these emotions. These people need to go within they need to, Jenny's trying to find a word here. They need to sort through these emotions and try and understand them. They're not dealing with the emotions properly. They're not really thinking about the emotions. They're not going within. They're not. So uh, metaphysically speaking, they're in these densities and experiences to then be inspired or encouraged to go within and start processing their own emotions? Yes, that's the word Jenny was looking for, processing. They need to process these emotions, but many aren't. They're just going about their daily lives. They're unable to process the emotions. They're just completely unable to distinguish what it is. People have been so separated, 
so separated from themselves and one another. They're sitting in cafes and instead of communicating with one another, they're on their phones. They're not connecting with each other anymore. They've been disconnected from themselves and from other people. They don't even know how to process emotions anymore. It's very sad that this has happened to people. From your perspective, how does one uh, go about processing their own emotions? You need to be aware of your emotions. You need to actually sit with yourself. People don't sit with themselves anymore. They don't sit and just go within. They just don't do it anymore. They're so disconnected. They're even, they're, the disconnection from themselves is making it so difficult for them to understand these emotions. They just need to sit quietly, spend some time quietly with themselves and not be distracted with devices or the TV or anything. Go within, go within, go within. Think about these emotions. Ask yourself why you are feeling this way. Go through each emotion. Try and process it, even if you just start small. All of it will help you. Stop distracting yourself with everything around you. Connect again with yourselves. Connect with yourselves. I love this. Can we send love and inspiration to those people who are surrounded in this density to be able to go within to find the answers and to be able to stop being distracted from the, those devices? Yes, we will sell, send love and healing to those people. Help to try and lift lift the vibration around them, send them light and love and healing. Help them to realize what they've been doing to themselves, how they've been distracting themselves, been distracting themselves with everything around them when all they have to do is connect with themselves connect with others you will learn from others as well you will learn from others by talking to others a loved one talk to someone close to you about your emotions who understands start talking about these things again it's not a taboo subject it's something we all need to do you need to process our emotions it's so important Stop the distractions. Connect and learn from yourself and from others. Yes, thank you. Will there be an event that will encourage people more to go within or is this just a fingers crossed and let's hope that they discover this themselves? Slowly as more information comes out, more and more people will start experience, experiencing a wide range of emotions. Emotions that they probably don't even normally think about. It will help them. It will help them stop and think and go within. The same emotions will come up repeatedly for them in the various things that come out in the media. The same emotions 
will just keep reappearing and they will have to start processing it. They will have to go within and sit with themselves and stop distracting themselves. It will help them. It will help them to release. It will help them a great deal to release the tension and the anxiety and the confusion. It's all happening, but it's happening slowly. It's all happening to the divine plan. Things are, are, it's like a jigsaw puzzle. We ha there has to be chaos and disorganisation. There's going to be a lot of chaos and disorganisation. But things will slowly come together again like a jigsaw puzzle coming back together again. The pieces slowly fall away and disseminate and then eventually slowly the pieces will come back again and people will be connected. They will connect back with one another again they will become whole. They will connect back with source. They are like a beautiful light and energy thread weaving their way through the universe. We will go back to, be, to being one again, to having that connection, to be able to connect with ourselves and to connect with others. Oh, the energy and light and vibration will bring us all back together as one. Oh, it will be beautiful. But first there will be chaos. And we have to go through this. It's all, it's all the divine plan. Jenny is feeling the energy connecting back together. We're all coming together again. We're all learning from ourselves and from others. And at the moment, we are all peeling off our outer layers and coming to know ourselves again from within. We're all being renewed, reborn. And slowly as we release, we release, release, release the unwanted, built up emotions that we've stored within ourselves. The earth will be renewed. The earth will come together again. The earth is mirroring herself and creating a new. It's not far off, it's just on the other side. Oh, it's all coming together again. In harmony, we will all be in harmony again. And it will be peaceful and beautiful. Thank you so much. In terms of how Gaia is going with her consciousness still being in the third dimension, what would she like us to know today? 
Oh, she wants to know that she loves you all. She loves everyone and she sends everyone thank you, thanks for what you have been doing for her, supporting her, sending her love and healing. She is very tired, very tired, but she's okay. She will hold on for as long as she can. She wants everything to come back to the one, back to source. For we are all part of source, and source is all part of our source is within you. She is beautiful, Gaia. Her soul is full of beauty, but she's had so many toxins seeping into her. So many toxins that she's had to filter. The collectives are helping her, but it takes such a long, long time. It wears her down. It wears her down so much. It makes her so tired. But she wants you to know that she is still holding on. And she loves you all. And she asks that you send her love and healing and light now to help her. And we are going to do that. We are going to send her love, light and healing. And it's giving her the spark she needs to continue, to continue on this journey. She's also looking forward to her new life. She is a beautiful soul. She has so much to look forward to, just like we do. We will all be one again. Thank you. Um, I think we will all be thinking of her often and sending her profound love and uh, appreciation and gratitude for all that she's done for us and we also want to carry some of her burden if she wants us to or needs us to and lighten the load for her in any way we can um, apart from sending her love and gratitude what else can we send her appreciation appreciation for who she is, for what she has done for us. She wants you to connect more with her. She wants you to connect, to connect in nature. She wants you to ground to her. She wants you to connect with the wind, the water the land, nature, animals. Connect back with nature. Connect with Gaia, Gaia, Gaia's soul. Connect, connect, connect with her whenever you can. And she will receive your love and vibrations. And she will also at the same time help you 
help your vibration. Connect with Gaia as much as you can. Disconnect yourself from the devices and go outside. Swim in the ocean, walk in the sand, lie in the sand, speak to the trees, speak to the rocks, speak to the animals, for they are all part of you and you are all part of them. You are all one consciousness. You are all a part of each other and you are all beautiful souls. You are remembering who you are You are remembering who you are, which is beautiful. The old is peeling away and the new is coming in. You will remember, you will start remembering. You will start remembering who you are and how powerful you are and your connection, your connection to everything, everything. You are all connected. Will that help people be motivated to take more responsibility for their own inner work and their own behavior and emotions? Yes, many people don't realize just how disconnected they are from themselves. They don't understand it now with the programming and the mind control. They don't even know how to connect back with themselves. They need to connect with all the elements. The elements are part of you. They are talking to you. They are healing you. They are increasing your vibrations. You need to consciously be aware of them. Feel them, talk to them, connect with them. It will help you, it will help you release. They will send energy through your body. And it will help you heal and release from the traumas you are holding within you. You are all being so traumatized with the emotions. They have engulfed you and now you need to learn to release them. to connect with yourself and connect with nature. There is so much healing to be done when you're in nature. So many beautiful vibrations you receive from nature. Wonderful. Thank you so much. 
can we send more high vibrations to people with our intentions using our mind and the element of infusing air? Yes, we will do that. We need to infuse the healing and love and vibrations. Everybody can do this. Everybody can do this. Send it out everywhere. Send it out to the universe. Consciously send it. Connect with everything and send the healing. It's beautiful. It will help. People awaken and help raise the consciousness. It will help the people. It will help Gaia. It will help nature. It will help the animals. Everybody needs to feel the beautiful, beautiful love and healing vibrations, energy, it flows, it can flow, it flows like the tide on a river through everything, it can flow through the universe, it is beautiful and it is continuous, you are all sending it and Jenny can see it. It's flowing, interweaving itself through all healing, lighting up. It's beautiful. Would it be helpful if we all were consciously aware of breathing in love and then exhaling love as well, breathing out love, thinking that it will be projecting out that higher frequency of pure unconditional love is coming in and out of our body through our breath. Yes, we can do that. We can all do that and we should be doing that. We can all draw in or breathe in the light of source, the love of source, the light and love of the collectives, for they are all sending it now. They want you all to take a big breath right now. Breathe in the love, breathe in the healing, the energy, the light, and let it flow out of your lungs around to the universe through everyone and everything flowing beautifully it's a beautiful beautiful flow and it's happening now it's going out to all and everybody is receiving it now They can all feel it. It's so beautiful. It is so beautiful. Wonderful. Thank you so much. It will be really great if everyone could be mindful of doing this as often as they can, when they can, um, because the the upliftment and higher vibrations that we feel when we do it is is rewarding. <laughs> um, so thank you so much. Um, Jenny was wondering about what she would see. Um, she would like clarification, please, on often seeing a man and a little girl. What would you like her to know about that? That is a life she had 
from the 1700s, a past life. And he is the husband and she is the daughter she lost. And why are they, they are waiting for, they are waiting for her to return. She has had many lives with this man. And they are waiting for her. to return to the new earth. Are they currently reincarnated into different people at the moment? Yes. They are reincarnated into different people at the moment. But she will meet them again when she goes to the new earth and she will know who they are. Is she aware of them at the moment in this lifetime as being the people and the reincarnations that they are? Yes, she is. But they're not together. Mm-hmm in this life, the daughter. And the man are not together in this life. But they will be leaving here to go to New Earth and they will meet her there. It was all planned. They've had many lives together and many lives apart with every reincarnated elsewhere. This was already planned. This is something they knew about, but they've forgotten because of the veil. But they will be reunited. She has something to look forward to when she goes to New Earth. She has a big surprise waiting for her. Fantastic. Well, thank you for letting us know that that makes a lot of sense why she keeps sensing them. And what about the man that presented to her a very large bouquet of flowers and then gave her a kiss? What would you like her to know about that experience? Yes, that is the same man reincarnated. It was no surprise that she met him. They reconnected for a short period of time. That is all Jenny is saying. Well, thank you for that clarification. Um, very interesting indeed. Um, and so is, are they both, uh, the, the husband and the little girl from that 1700s life, are they still alive in their reincarnations? now and will they shift the, around the same time as everyone else will shift yes this alive at present and they will shift they will shift just a little while after jenny shifts And I will meet again. Fascinating. Thank you so much. That will be great for her to look forward to. Also, she would like more clarification, please, on the light orbs that she often sees. What are the messages and the information that you'd like her to understand when she sees these?
We just want her to know that we're always with her. Especially when she's doing her spiritual work. She sees a lot of light orbs. They often float past her vision. And we just want her to know that we're here. We're here for her. We're always around her. We love her. She has asked many times to see the light orbs. She doesn't ask so much anymore because she sees them, but if she doesn't see them for a couple of days, she worries and asks to see them and we send them to her. It's just our way of letting her know that we're with her and we're supporting her in what she's doing. And she needs to keep empowering herself and believing in herself because we're always here for her. Fascinating. Thank you so much. And she will, um, I think she already had suspicions that that was the case, but now it's just great to have that clarification. So thank you so much. She also was curious why she's not seeing the same patterns that she does when she's at home. We know she's on a holiday at the moment and she's curious why is she not getting the same experiences when she wakes up? Yes, it's just been the density here. The energy she brings Back, back with her from the collectives when she returns to her body at night. She hasn't been able to resonate with it quite as much as she would at home because of the density she's been experiencing in her holiday place. But it's all okay because when she goes back home, it will all reappear. It's just been difficult for her processing the energies where she is. And she just doesn't see things quite so clearly. But it's starting to clear now. So tonight we will help her to see those patterns again because she's been wondering why they haven't been occurring on the ceiling when after she wakes up. She's only been seeing the cobweb of light. She's not been seeing the beautiful bright blue lights or the flowing orbs. But we will send them to her tonight. We will send them and help her to get through the denseness. It will all be okay. When she returns home, she will see it all again. Thank you so much. Um, we were curious about the new strain we're hearing on the, um, I guess we want to say the news, about uh, different variants of uh, the virus we are supposed to be getting inoculated against. What would you like us to know about the different strains that are now starting to be discussed? Well, just more scare tactics for people to start worrying about, to keep them in a low density, to keep them in low vibration. There are no variants. 
there is no virus. It is all just to scare us, keep people afraid, keep them afraid, constantly on edge. And when they're afraid, they can't process emotions, they can't go within. They're so disconnected from themselves and this just makes them more disconnected. Some people go into panic. Some people are just walking around constantly worried that they're going to catch this dreaded virus or a stronger variant, whatever it, you've been told on the media. But there is nothing to worry about. There are no variants. It's all just made up. In terms of New Zealand's Prime Minister wanting to have a, a broadcast meeting uh, with the country in one minute's time, uh, what do you get a sense of the information she will be wanting to share? Probably more outbreaks of COVID, more outbreaks happening in various different areas, more scare tactics, just the same thing that's happening in other states here in Australia, more and more outbreaks of COVID supposedly are happening. And from your perspective, higher self, uh, what is the metaphysical bonuses or benefits from these, ex these experiences that people are having with these additional lockdowns? Yes, it's just help them connect with themselves. They need to be locked down. I mean, we know there's a bigger picture here. And people need to be locked down because they need to go within. They need to disconnect from everything around them. People feel the need to always be out out at cafes, out having coffee, out doing this, out doing that. But when they are out, they're connected to their devices, a lot of them, and they're not even interacting anyway. So locking them down helps them, even though they still have their devices, it also helps them to go within even if it's not an in-depth thing, they're still having to think about what's happening and having to release emotions and just the fact that they're locked down annoys people and helps them to release unwanted emotions. And just the fact that there's different variants coming out makes people annoyed and it helps them release emotions. All of this is for the bigger picture that we know. All of it is important at this time. Um, well, I respect your position and I would love for all of humanity to be able to do what they need to do to be able to help them uh, raise their vibrations. I am also aware um, that many people are very addicted to their devices. So how can they break this addiction to be able to stop being so distracted and to be able to go within? Uh, is there anything that you would be able to do to help us uh, at all? I 
Well, what really would be good would be for the internet to shut down and then they would have to go within. Do you get a sense? An internet, an internet shutdown would help these people disconnect from their devices. Then they would have no choice but to go within. And also the electricity going out so they can't watch the television. So they can't listen to the constant barrage of scare tactics and COVID information. They need to be totally disconnected from everything, including devices and television. But locking them down at least is a start. It does help them also to connect with other people on social media. And it does sometimes give us a chance to make them look at things that they should be looking at on the internet, things to help wake them up, things to help make them think, things, information that they can process. There are benefits to our social media sites when we connect with each other and learn from each other. And we do have to learn from each other also. So there's, I, there's really just small facets of help with all these things. It will require bigger information for people to, most people to truly wake and we are hope, hoping that that will occur soon and that more and more information will come out to wake these people. If the internet did go down for a while, uh, how long would it take the average person to be able to go within and be able to raise their vibrations enough to continually continually be inspired to uh, tap into themselves? It would take, it would take a little while for them. It's something they're not used to doing. As we've said, people are so disconnected from themselves, let alone other people. So it would take them a while but you will start remembering. They will start remembering things. It will be slow, but they will start remembering and they will start acknowledging that they've, realizing that they've been disconnected, disconnected from their own selves. And they will start to sit with themselves more. Those people who truly want to wake, who truly wanted to be able to wake up, they will realize and they will go within and they will start processing their emotions and they will find it very difficult because we're not used to doing this anymore. And we, as you all know, how difficult it is to process past emotions. It will be difficult for them also. That's where we can help family members. We can help family members with this and remember they won't be all be totally accepting of our help. They will deny things. They will be unable to process some of their feelings, but we can help them. We can help them by showing them love, 
supporting them through it. It's going to be very hard for some. But we want them to awaken themselves. This is what they wanted in their soul contracts. So we're trying to honour that for them. We're doing what we can without pushing too hard at the moment. That's where you will all come in to help. We want you to help. And we want you to send them all love and healing. Because you all know what you've been through. How difficult it's been for all of you. How much there is to process through. It's not an easy task. The inner child work and then just all of our experiences we've been through and the emotions that we've stored in ourselves. It's really going to be difficult for them to wake and awaken. Do you get a sense that there will be internet? outages for this very reason or do you feel like there is going to be some bigger information that will be shared publicly there will be some information shared some to help trigger people to help trigger them their awakening to help trigger certain emotions. We don't want to push it too much at the moment. Try and do things gradually. We want these people, as we said, to just awaken on their own. We're trying to honour that for them. So we want it to be subtle. But there will be some information coming out. There will eventually be outages. Not for long periods of time though. For short periods of time. Thank you so much. Um, it feels, and please correct me if I'm wrong, it gives me a sense that there is still so much that needs to happen before we can shift. Yes, that is correct. There is a lot. There is a lot of chaos going on, a lot of things dissecting, dismantling, a lot of pieces just falling away. And it takes time for this to happen. It takes a lot of time for it to be, to flowing the way it has to for the divine plan. We would like this to happen quicker, but people are so asleep that it's taking longer than we expected. But once the pieces fall away, And the darkness, the darkness will fade with it. Then things will start coming back together again and being restructured. We just have to be patient. We have to be patient with the plan. We have to understand that all this takes time, but it's unfolding beautifully. 
and all is well, all is well. So there is nothing for you to worry about. You just need to have patience and it will all unfold beautifully in the end. I know it seems like it's been going on for a long time and it's hard for you all. This is a good test for you all. Very good test for you all. But yes, it's difficult and you're tired, we understand. And we're sorry it had to happen this way. But all is well, people, all is well. Thank you. I did read somewhere yesterday or today, I can't recall now, uh, where someone was saying that we are merely just building the foundations of creating a new earth and that it will take generations for it to become in fruition. Uh, what would you like us to know about that? You are powerful beings. You are very powerful beings. You are the creators. So as you release, as you release, 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 you are creating the new earth. All is unfolding beautifully. Remember you are the creators. You are all part of the one. Beautifully said. And this would again be more motivation for people to do their inner work and to be able to start manifesting the, the requirements and the hopes and dreams that they have for the new earth. Absolutely. The more you release, and I know we keep saying this over and over, the more you go within and release, the faster you will manifest the new earth, the faster it will be created because you are creating it. You are all creating it. You are so powerful you have no idea how powerful you are but you will eventually remember and you will understand you're like the facets in a crystal so many facets shining your light shining your sparks out into the universe, creating as you go, learning about yourself, learning about others, interacting with others and creating, creating all the beauty of the universe as you all flow through. You are all beautiful souls. All powerful, beautiful souls. And you should be very proud of yourself. Remember, you are the creators. You are the creators. Thank you so much. I really appreciate, uh, really appreciate all the information you've been providing and the inspiration and motivation that you've been giving us today and the insights. Is there anything else you would like us to know today? We are here supporting you. We are always supporting you. Never doubt that we are here with you at every moment. 
We are here encouraging you, inspiring you, and leading you on your spiritual journey. Trust in yourself, empower yourself, believe in yourself. For we believe in you. We know how powerful you are and we love you. We are all here in unity. We are all here in unity together, inspiring each other, supporting one another. We are all one in this universe. We are all here for each other. You are all inspiring each other to continue on your journey. See the light. The light is shining upon you and empowering you. The light is shining upon you. Thank you so much for all that you have provided for us today. Really appreciate it. You're very welcome.